Now I'm going to duplicate this layer and kind of move it to the side a little. You'll see what I mean. Now you should have your layer set up like this. And on the energy copy, move the energy copy underneath en the original text layer and go to alpha to selection on the copied layer, if th that makes any sense at all. Get your gradient tool and just set your colors to something that complements the background or the general image. I'm going to choose um, dark blue and then a light blue. Okay. Then simply drag across. Select none. And if you see that white border, that white edge around it, just go to just alpha to selection the layer and go to select grow by one and get your paintbrush tool or not your paintbrush tool, but your gradient tool and r just restroke the gradient. Then select none and the border should be gone, as you can tell. Now go ahead and merge these two layers down. And I'm just going to, and then you're going to want to apply a drop shadow. So go to filters, light and shadow, drop shadow. Um, for blur radius, you can just set these values to whatever you want really. And then go ahead and merge the text layer down with the drop shadow. And now you can go ahead and rotate the text or do really whatever you want to do with the text. And now all I'm going to do is simply resize the text and duplicate it and just add some more flair to the design. And I'm going to speed this up so if you get sick from the auto panning, um, just turn your head away from the screen right now. Okay, I'm just going to leave it like that. And now to fill up some of this empty space over here, simply grab your text tool and just get any font. And then simply type in whatever you want. Now this part is really just optional. And again, I'm going to just fast forward this part. It's not really that interesting. Now uh, I'm simply going to set all those text layers onto overlay. And now just press Control M if you want um, to merge all the layers together. And that's pretty much, well, that's it really.